I don't think we recognize how central caregiving is to being human. It's central to the human experience and human evolution. The way that we care for one another, particularly babies, may be at the root of what makes humans different from other animals. From beetles to bats, other animals generally don't provide any care at all. Usually babies come into the world and then are left on their own. But when I was young, I got a lot of care, not just from my mom, but also from my dad, my grandparents, siblings, doctors, teachers, even neighborhood teens looking to make a buck. We know that cooperating to raise babies was important in human evolution, but we don't know how it works. We don't understand how caregivers evolved to cooperate by pooling their energy to raise their babies. We can't answer this question by looking at modern humans. We're cultural animals, and that complicates and obfuscates our evolutionary history. But as an evolutionary anthropologist, I can look at non-human animals to learn about human evolution. That's why I study titi monkeys. I can learn more about how parents pool their energy to raise their babies together by looking at this much simpler system than I can by looking at humans. These little guys are perfect for this study since like us, their babies get a ton of care. They're one of only a handful of animals where fathers actively provide any infant care at all. But they're much simpler to study because they don't have culture and the burden of care is only distributed across two individuals, mom and dad, not a whole village. To see how parents cooperate to raise babies, I'll need two types of data, the kind of care that parents provide and how much energy they spend on that care. So first, I'm going to spend 14 months deep in the Amazon rainforest where these monkeys evolved so I can closely observe how moms and dads provide care differently. To find out how much energy infant care costs, I'll feed captive monkeys at a primate research center a special form of water. Analyzing this water in their urine will tell me the total amount of energy their whole bodies use over a certain period of time. I'll analyze this water in the urine of both parents and non-parents so I can look at the difference and see the cost of infant care itself. Some types of care involve moving around, which also takes energy, and I can take that into account by also collecting movement data using an accelerometer. We all carry these around in our pockets, and I'll hang a small one from the monkeys next. After all of this, I'll be able to analyze mathematically how the parents share the load of infant care, how they work together as their baby grows up and becomes self-sufficient. In a way that no one has ever done before, I'll be able to describe the relationship between caring and effort in a species who cooperate to raise their babies just like us. As a society, we consistently undervalue the work of caregivers, but we've been denying this fundamental part of us for too long. In a very real way, it is what made us and it is who we are.